like it or not, America, there is a revolution that is going on right now. It's just going on in the cover of darkness, and it ain't the Tea Party people. The real revolution that is going on right now is this. This is your choice. Limited government versus total government. Our founding fathers believed in limited government. The radicals, the new revolutionaries in the Obama administration, believe in total government. The first one here is a right to property. That's versus social justice. See, it, it's just a word game, really. It's right to property. Our founders believed in the right to property. You work hard for your money. Who are they to take it away? James Madison said, it is not uh, it, uh, that it is not just government, nor is property secure under it, where the property which has man in, uh, has in his personal liberty is violated by arbitrary series, uh, seizures of one class of citizen for the service of the left. Can someone get my glasses, please? The Obama administration believes in social justice. That is the difference. James Madison or Van Jones? Which one, America? Here's former White House Green Job Czar Van Jones. No more broken treaties. Give them the wealth. Give them the wealth. Give them the dignity. Give them the respect that they deserve. No justice on stolen land. We owe them a debt. We owe the... This is the Native Americans. We owe them a debt. This is stolen land. That's revolutionary thought. Next, gun rights versus gun control. Thomas Jefferson on gun rights. No free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms. The strongest reason for the people to retain their right to keep and bear arms is as a last resort to protect themselves against tyranny and government. Gee, I thought it was all about the hunters. Compare that to what White House regulatory czar Cass Sunstein said about guns. Almost all gun control legislation is constitutionally fine. And if the court is right, then fundamentalism does not justify the view that the Second Amendment protects an individual right to bear arms. America, that's pretty clear. You're going to go with Thomas Jefferson or Cass Sunstein? The Senate went for Cass Sunstein. How about you? Next, we have free press. Free press. Responsible journalism is the flip side of that. Thomas Jefferson, let's start with him. He said... The only security of all is in a free press. The force of public opinion cannot be resisted when permitted freely to be expressed. The agitation it produces must be submitted to. It is necessary to keep the waters pure. Well, no, because that's, well, that's just not responsible enough. Government's got to be involved. So now we have new communication policies. Here's Robert McChesney. He is the co-founder of Free Press. Quote, Any serious effort to reform the media system would have to necessarily be part of a revolutionary program to overthrow the capitalist system itself. <sighs> Free Press? Save responsible journalism. It doesn't stop there. Listen up, college juniors. America, you really have a choice. You can either go with these revolutionaries, or you can go with the growing number of revolutionaries that we have found just on this program recently, all on tape, all saying remarkable things. Let me just go through a few of them. We have next us uh, freedom of speech. We have freedom of the press, but now freedom of speech, that's different. That's versus um, uh, communication policy. Let's start with George Washington. George Washington said, The freedom of speech may be taken away, and dumb and silent we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. Pose that to the new revolutionary FCC diversity czar, Mark Lloyd. He said, It should be clear now that my focus here is not freedom of speech or the press. This freedom is all too often an exaggeration. At the very least, blind references to freedom of speech or the press serve as a distraction from the critical examination of other communication policies. Really? I think I'm going to go with that guy instead. Finally, there is debt versus investment and, and stimulus. We've got to invest in our country. We've got to invest, invest. George Washington said, There is no practice more dangerous than that of borrowing money. 
For when money can be had in this way, repayment is seldom thought of in time. The interest becomes a loss. Exhortations to raise it by dent of industry cease, and it comes easy, and it is spent freely. And many things are indulged in that would have never been thought of if they were to be purchased by the sweat of the brow. Imagine America. Would we even be talking about health care if we actually had to pay for it right now, as opposed to our children? or borrowing it from China, or just printing the money, thinking of the answer. You compare that to the words of Joe Biden. Now people say, when I say that, people look at me and say, what are you talking about? You're telling me we got to go spend money to keep from going bankrupt? Yes, yes, I'm telling you. Are you going to go? Are you going to this? Because this is your choice. This or James Madison and Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and Samuel Adams and John Adams. Which one? Which words make more sense? The solution is here. And I'll uncover the final chalkboard next. America, I have to tell you... <laughs> You notice how crowded it is on that side? Because this is your choice. These revolutionaries or these revolutionaries. And boy, time-tested revolutionaries with time-tested ideas. But this side of the board, at least in Washington, is pretty empty. Who's going to stand here? See, here's, here's, the, here's the real question, if I may. The real question comes from this. All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. It's why I've been telling you, you've got to question your boldness. When you find that truth, you hold on to it. You speak without fear, because really, here's the question. Are we going to go with this revolutionary or that revolutionary? From New York. Good night, America. Next on Special Report, good news on the economy prompts discussion.